Hey guys, uh, this is the hair scorpion. Um, but anyways, um, this is directed towards um, some of the new hairdressers out there that um, direct message me about like what to do next. Um, I, I think about doing a class for them before they enter the industry. And, you know, I, I love to tell stories, you know that, but um, I want to start with, uh, you know, I did hair for a couple of years. I wasn't very successful at it. And um, this thought came to me. And, um, you know, I, you keep hearing about how the 20% make 80% of the money in all industries, really. So I started thinking, and, um, I, you know, I got into a little bit of deep thought. And I was thinking about how what I do tomorrow will, will eventually be my past. Um, so, you know, it'll, the, the future will eventually be my past so think about it like if you're in a bad relationship and maybe you're you're you know you're a jerk and um you know and you're viewed that way but if tomorrow you start being a sweetheart you know and um appreciating the person in your life eventually your past that's who you'll be you know so you can change your past um so i came up with this thing that i wrote down and i put in my station where no one could see it but i saw it every time i opened my station to grab scissors or a straight razor and it said the future has passed anything lost can be found except time 20% of all matters and I thought it sounded futuristic but really what it was saying was change your actions today and then tomorrow you know things will improve you know so and then I thought the 20% you know, of all matters was the 20% we talked about. And, um, you know, I, I don't know. Um, and obviously, anything lost can be found except time, because time is the most precious um, thing we have. You know, it's, it's the most valuable. So point is, is I didn't really know what the 20% meant. You know, I thought they just worked, you know, 80% more. Well, I watched this Mark Cuban thing today, and it started... You know, I was worried. He was. They. They were saying how to become successful, and I was like, a little panicked, um, a little um, anxiety. So I listened to it, and it was pretty cool because it, everything he said pretty much um, mirrored what I've been doing. Um, so ultimately, that takes us to now. Um, you know, first of all, you know. A lot of you guys, you don't have new clients. And I guess this could apply to business owners too that are starting out. Um, I've been, I've owned a business for 20 years. Um, I'm trying not to say um, but uh, what happens is I failed for, you know, many years trying to succeed because I didn't know what I didn't know. And we'll walk through that for a minute. First off, you know, you have to, and I always felt this way. You have to be a, a, extremely fearful. And the things I experienced, uh, you know, in owning a business and being a struggling stylist um, scared, scared the hell out of me. It's good if it drives you to do more. I call it pushing a block. Um, so you, got, you have to work like somebody's, you know, trying to take what you have a way. And if you don't have clients, that's not what it's about. It's about, you know, that few people that you know, you know, and, you know, and keep them happy and ask them, you know, for help, meaning for referrals, you know, and see what works and what doesn't work. But the most important thing you'll find is all that's easy. If, if you work like somebody's trying to take what you have away. Now, you know, you have to work like 24 hours a day and I know you have to sleep you know things get in, and you can't work 24 hours a day but you know it's things get in the way like um that are more important than your success and, and it impacts those things that are more important like your family your kids sleep however you know every waking moment it you have to have the passion right if you don't love what you do you're doing the wrong thing and I'm not even talking about like, there's going to be days when you don't like doing hair. There's going to be years. However, 
You have to love the business to it. You have to love the outcome and you have to justify the work for for the outcome. You can love the outcome. You know, I'm not saying you got to love hair every minute. But you have to recognize it as the tool to get the outcome. You have to love the business. So what's that mean? I'm not saying do hair 24 hours a day or or you know, put pizzas in an oven if that's your industry. I'm saying you have to be thinking about it. You have to be thinking about what to do next. You have to be terrified in that in a, a way that it drives you and you don't curl up into a ball. I mean, believe me when I say this, there is always somebody trying to take what you have away from you. And the more successful you get, the more people and the smarter the people are and the stronger the people are. They are trying to take it away from you. You know, look at me. I'm making a video for you. And I'll be honest, at the end of the day, I'm thinking this might bring some new stylists to my shop. You know, this is an all give, right? But I do like helping and I do like giving. Um, so there is a motivation. That's my real love. But I'm working 24 hours a day. It's one in the morning. I'm not stopping. This is every day of my life, you know, and I'm not cutting the hair though, but this is what we need to do. If you just put the scissors down and go home and think, oh, it's just going to happen. The salon owners got me. That never happens. That'll never happen. You will never reach your full potential by depending on somebody else to to place that in your lap by depending on by allowing someone else to control your life how valuable is that so you got to you got to act sure you might be successful like our girls you know we have a ton of walk-ins and they're going to do just fine you know and and you know some of our some of our guys and girls they they don't stop they keep going every hour of the day you know it could you know it's it's up here though you know I can have a conversation with my kids and that takes away because it's more important but I'm right back to it you have to go you know and here's the thing I support all hair salons and small businesses and I am not trying to steal their business but indirectly that's what we're doing you know right now that's, you know, that's, that's what's happening. And if, if you're not doing it, somebody else is, and eventually your client's going to be in their chair. That, maybe that client that would have been yours, you'll never see. Um, I don't know if I can be any clearer than this. You know, it, you know, and I get it. Not everybody's cut out for that. And, but, but here's the beautiful thing. You know, we don't have to, you know, work 24 hours a day because the truth is most people won't so every effort you put into it every thought matters you're pushing a block so so I want you to think about it like this um, I've used this um, descriptive uh, story before you know you can build a house okay and it's um you know, a thousand square foot house and it's gonna sell for a hundred thousand dollars. That's its worth. Now let that represent you, what you're doing to build your business. Now, if you want to make two hundred thousand dollars, we have to redraw the plans, right? Make that house twice the size. Uh, but if you're willing to put put that energy into that bigger house, it's it's not a question of if you're gonna have that success, it's just about how long it's gonna take you, how much longer it's gonna take you to build that house. So now let's just pretend um, it's not that simple because it's not. Let's go back to the beginning. 20% of all people, all athletes perform 80 per, you know, they take 80% of the rewards, the money or whatever it is. Um, now, why is that? It's not, now keep in mind, it's not because, you know, 
they're running the football longer. It's because they're planning longer. Okay, people with a plan succeed. And this is why. And they, they always have more success. Because when you plan something and it doesn't work, you plan something else until it does. Okay? Now at my shop, we call them the questions. Um, and the added experiences. But, um, so, let's look at it like this in a different way. Let's go back to that house, that picture of the house we made. So many people don't understand that that house isn't just a picture and a thought. They think, I have this picture, I'm going to do it. I want this, it's going to happen. Magic. Everybody's rich, right? But you got to turn that picture into a puzzle, okay? And then you have to flip it upside down, mess it up. Now, think about this. It's a hundred piece puzzle. How many moves does it take you to put together? Well, you don't know because they're not numbered pieces. Um, so it might take you 500 moves. However, the way you minimize those 500 moves is by having a plan. And, um, and that plan happens just by thought. We're all capable of it. And um, we have a plan for every one of our stylists. Um, so they don't have this burden. But um, the plan numbers the pieces. So, you know, maybe you'll only have to uh, move 100 pieces. I don't know. This may seem a little ridiculous, but we could talk for hours. And I have hours. Let your fear drive you. Know that there aren't limitations that the world puts on us. There are limitations we put on ourselves. Remember you're beautiful. Text me if you need anything.